Outside there, needed a big long kick to space, put it out near the boundary line, let it be a foot race. Anytime they're in any, I guess, wonder about where to kick it, they need space, Tilly. Willie doesn't miss, and Willie doesn't miss then. First score for Saints as a major. Scores level. Early stages here of the, the grand final. St Mary's in the green and goal. And he can go anywhere, this man. The skipper, Peter McFarlane. Rioli, up across half-back. Willie to Shannon. You've used every muscle, I think, uh, through your voice there to make sure you'll be able to keep up with it. But play just seems a little bit slower here at the moment. But I think Tiwi... And I think this... Playing in this grand final, obviously, the three Rioli boys, there's a lot that uh, means to him. In today's grand final, Willie Rioli kicks another goal for today. So he's a multiple goal kicker now in the grand final. Here, here's Ferguson, here's Willie Rioli, ducks his head, Willie, and he's somehow got his boot to the ball, and he's kicked his third for the match. Against the runner play, I must say, Willie Rioli gets a goal. It certainly is against the runner play. It was something that they very much needed. And as I mentioned before, a, a fumble from Dion Makara in the middle there just... Saints win it from the middle. Willie Rioli the target. Darcy got pushed out of it. Cleverly done, Willie Rioli sends it up the half forward. Out came McFarlane for it. Spillies down to Shannon Rioli. He can see good. Desperate tackle. Knocked back infield there by Willie Rioli. Oh, standing back. We're going to have to clear this way. In comes Rioli. He's been hit high. Willie Rioli draws a free kick. Just that little fumble from Ross Tungatalam at the other end. They're the little things as we see the free kick here for Willie Rioli. Yeah, got him above the shoulders. You can't get him there. Goes around and kicks the goal, plays on. Good goal, Willie Rioli. Scores level. Headed down towards the forward line. A little bit of pushing. Ball lands on the ground. Willie Rioli. Willie knows where the goals are. Willie knows exactly where they are. Willie kicks a magnificent goal for Saints. And that might almost be it. They find it very, very hard. The Bombers to come back from there. One of their own might have just buried them. So the Cheney medal. The is Cheney medal goes to Willie Rioli Jr. from the St. Mary's Football Club. Well, he was outstanding today when he had to be, and he was always the worry. He was always the worry for the Tiwi Bombers. It's one of those game changers. I reckon he only had probably 10 kicks, but he's kicked five goals. And that was his job. His job down there is to kick goals, and that's what he did today. So well done, Willie Rioli. Christian Height would have came in contention as well. I thought he had an outstanding game. He certainly was. I, I, he was definitely Tiwi's best, uh, Christian Height. He, he would have been a deserved winner if his name was read out. But that man there, Willie Rioli, the kicking five goals. The winning team, the chairman of AFL Inter, Mr. Ross Coburn. Come the Saints, Thank they're ready. The boys, they're absolutely fantastic. Here they come. It's their moment to cap off the most magnificent year. St Mary's Footy Club lost round one and won them all from then on and kept it off tonight. Yeah, well done. Some great names through that. We, we love going back and watching our archive games. Obviously here and the end of every program throughout the year we've watched. It's a moment here for uh, dear old Vic Ludwig who uh, was the president for so many years. He lost his, uh, his dear wife uh, recently.